unashamedly net decked from from Swimstream, and I'm playing the Zoe Lee Sin deck. There's something about this deck. It's super popular. I've played it eight times in two days. And this is, like, the second time I'm playing Runeterra. Or the first time I'm playing Runeterra today. This hand... Um, I'm not sure how important Grand Plaza is to this deck. Like, I don't know if this is a deck that I want to try to mulligan until I hit Plaza. So, so what's my curve look like? Shark on... Two, three. I think I can let go of Onslaught and Glimpse. And then, okay, now we've got play on one. Haunted Relic. Oh, and we've even got Grand Plaza. So is it better? So I play Warden's Prey on one here. And then I think the interesting thing is on two. I can play Shark Chariot. Oh, of course we've got Zoe. Uh, I can play Shark Chariot and let it die, or I can save up my spell mana and go Grand Plaza plus Haunted Relic on three. I think I'm inclined to go for the early Haunted Relic. That way I can try and challenge this Zoe before it does too much ults to me. And it's got a Mountain Goat here. That's fine. Alright, so let's play our plaza. And I can also play this pesky specter this turn, so I can get a lot of challenger units going on. This is also super useful in case they've got like a Nopify or something for my haunted relic. I can still challenge Zoe here. Alright, so now my options for challenging Zoe look like shit. Play out the Zenith Blade. Um, I can I can still deal damage to the Zoe. And I think I do just. Uh, is it worth playing the pesky specter here? It's actually kind of useful to keep in hand. That way, I just have a free way to turn on Shark Chariot later. I think I'll keep it in hand. And then we'll challenge Zoe, challenge the goat, get in for a little bit of damage. It's really unfortunate they had the Zenith Blade there to protect their Zoe. Well, how much we can do about that. Remembrance isn't bad. Uh, yep, use the gem on Zoe. Another super cool star chart. We'll get to invoke a card here. Cool. Oh, we've got the charger. Uh, okay, let's pass. Yeah. I'll trade Warden here. Take, still take quite a bit of damage thanks to Overwhelm. Sentry. So I can play Sentry plus Shark. Then next turn use Pesky Spectre so that I can get Shark Attack back. Seems alright. I'm not sure when I'm supposed to be playing this. This Scout. Perhaps it's better to try and play it. I guess I can go Scout first. And then they need a lot of ways to protect their Zoe. If I open on the scout attack and challenge it. That seems fine. It is in the tank. I guess I do know that they've got another Zenith Blade in hand, but that Zenith Blade... Alright, they've got Lee Sin here. So we'll challenge... Actually, no, we don't challenge Zoe. What we'll do is we'll challenge the Lee Sin. And then we can kill the Lee Sin with our Badger token. And then the Pesky Spectre can challenge Zoe. And this lets me remove both of their champions. And I still get to hit for a lot of damage. Go 
Good lord, B. <laughs> the Grand Plaza is a card. Mountain Goat. So I think I just play Hecarim here. And then open attack next turn. And then that's just, like, a ton of damage smashing into their face. Because I'll get two Imperial units, plus my Shark back. Yeah, the opponent surrenders. Our... Looks a little bit different, though. Darius, Katarina, and Zed. Isn't Katarina just sort of bad? Ooh, Pesky Spectre. Not bad with the Grand Plaza at all. Goes really well with my Blighted Caretaker as well. Let's let's play a Warden's Prey here. Uh, so we're attacking on odds here. Trying to think of what that means for how I'm sequencing this plaza. Because I play plaza, and then the turn after I play plaza, I can go Spectre, Caretaker on my Spectre. Everything's better with company. Says you. Do I care about holding spell mana? I think I hold the two spell mana over playing my Warden. Because this puts me in a position where I can draw, like, one of my two drops that. Um, my two drop spells that produce bodies. So next turn, I can Grand Plaza plus that. Actually, next turn, what I probably want to do is Grand Plaza and then play my pesky Spectres. And then just get a bunch of challenging going on. Because I have the I do have the Warden's Prey I played on turn one that I can let the Caretaker kill. Wow, so this is another huge benefit to playing these pesky Spectres. Like, I'm not losing any tempo by playing the Grand Plaza here, because... I am now building out my board, despite having no actual mana interest. Is, is this just the best Grand Plaza deck? Because it plays, like, pesky specters, and I can bank spell mana on two so that I can play my Haunted Relic and Onslaught of Shadows and stuff? That's interesting. Like, like, the difference between the play I'm making here and just going Grand Plaza, pass, not attacking until round five is instrumental. Alright, let's just end the round. And we've got more mana bank up than our opponent. That's very nice. Ooh, Lucian. How do you actually work, buddy? Seen four plus allies or an ally in Cynodai. Double attack. First time you. Oh, that's right. That, that, that's that's the combo. You you use the rallies to get a bunch of attack. I know how to play the deck chat. Don't worry. So what we can do this turn is play Lucian Warden's Prey, and then I'm pretty sure if I Blighted Caretaker Kill Prey, that's one attack. Two tokens. I can flip Lucian next turn. <laughs> that seems pretty good. Alright, put on tax with Zed. I suppose by passing there, I actually give them a chance to, like, pass back and waste my mana. That's interesting, but I don't think they ever miss out on this attack. Um, I could double chump with these Warden's Prey, but I sort of need one in hand. Oh, wow, Shark Chariot. That's an insane draw. Okay, so actually, let, let's rethink this. If I do Shark Chariot plus Lucian this turn, next turn, Warden's Prey plus Caretaker, that still works. And this just gets me... This just gets me, like, a free shark for an extra attacker next turn. Wow, picking that up off of my Warden's Prey is amazing. 
Oh, and it helps Lucian level up. Alright, so we'll play our Prey, and then our Caretaker. We're going to have a nice turn here. Even if they kill our, our Lucian, I don't think that matters too terribly much. I mean, it'll suck. I'll still get to challenge Zed. Play Caretaker. Kill this. Music going on. Very unhopeful. Alright, and then. And I get my Shark Chariot. So I'll get a rally here, and then I can play Pesky Spectre. Can I kill them this turn? If they don't have a way to deal with my Lucian, I, I think I actually just kill them? <laughs> so even if they have another unit to play here, I just pesky Spectre, challenge the new unit, and then Lucian punches in for lethal? Play my sap, my pesky specter. This card is insane. <laughs> this this is why, this is why you net deck. I never would have put this card in a deck that I played, but by by borrowing Swim's deck, I am able to to take some cues from a far better player and that makes me a better player in turn i i don't know if runtara has the same stigma around net decking that magic the gathering does but like if if you play magic or if you don't every few weeks in the community there's this big hadoo because somebody thinks that people who net deck aren't real magic players or, or some bull crap but it, it's it's really good especially if you're trying to learn like net decking is one of the best things you can do Ooh, a little bit of fewer shin combo this will be an interesting matchup because so many of my units have imperial that it will okay i think this hand's just amazing it, it'll be hard for the fiora to have much to challenge if i play it right like, I, I can just make it so that that doesn't really work. Uh, maybe I could have pitched this... This remembrance without being too sad. Onslaught of Shadows. Wow, that's that's really good. So on, th so we'll just bank a bunch of spell mana, and then on three we can play Grand Plaza plus Onslaught, and that will give us quite a bit to do. Presuming that our opponent plays the game, uh, they might have disconnected because they're going to time twice here. Let's just let's just throw up some fairy dust. Okay. Just pass here. Well, I guess we don't really need to do the whole Onslaught Plaza thing. We're attacking on evens. We'll definitely play Plaza on three. Wait, that, that's actually even, even more nuts for us, right? Because then we play Plaza on three, and then on four we can go Spectre, Caretaker, plus Onslaught, and just kill anything that they've played. Oh, yeah, this damage doesn't matter. Take down our plaza. All the way around. Looks like the opponent doesn't really want to give us much to, uh, to hook. 
I'm going to play this in Warden's Prey first. I want to see if they actually play anything before I Blighted Caretaker, because it would be a bit of a waste to just use that. Okay. Nice. I was going to say, it would be a bit of a... A bit of a shame to just use Blighted Caretaker for them, and then have them not do anything. So we'll kill Warden's Prey here. Um... Like I said, I want to try and use these units in such a way that I don't have any real units lying around. Like, I'm going to challenge this here, this here. Because the less units I have on the battlefield that don't have Imperial, the less there is for their Fiora to grab. It's like, if I wasn't thinking about Fiora, then I would have had the Lancelot thing challenge this. Uh... Alright, that's okay. Sort of sucks they did it like that. Saves them three damage. Still gives them something to cling to with their Fiora. Hmm, though I suppose I can just I can just glimpse beyond this if they play the Fiora. Uh, actually I guess that does technically have a power with Grand Plaza. Alright, let's just end the round here. Because I can use this, it probably won't kill anything, but I can use this to, like, challenge a unit. That way something with actual power is able to get in. Looks like the opponent's got Screeching Dragon. I can glimpse the unthinkable here. Do I want to? Because if I put damage on this, then it makes it so that my Onslaught Spirits can challenge and kill the dragon. I think I just let this be. Basically get a free remembrance here. Uh, ooh, that thing's just naturally got challenger. So that's that's even better than using the onslaught. Um Do I actually just want to play Hecarim here? Because, like, this challenges the dragon, I play Hecarim. If they do something scary, I can s I've still got, like, Onslaught of Shadows so that I can add more units to the board if I need to. I think I'll just play Hecarim here and see if they want to want to do anything. Hecarim should be able to kill most anything they play. Cynthia the Bold. That's actually pretty significant. That might actually just be worth, like, trading Hecarim for. Alright, so now they don't have a board. Technically, we don't have a board, but we've got more spell mana banked up, and we've got... We've got a pretty good hand here. Warden's Prey, the Greenfin Warden... Ooh, it's a scout. Scouts are good. I just got another screeching dragon here. That's fine. Um, I could just play out my shark chariot here. That way, I have it available. I think I do that. I mean, this also sort of gives them a chance to slip up and make maybe try to eat my shark. Bright steel protector. Oh. Uh, do I care about that? It's like I can... I, I just don't think I care. I don't know. I can play... If I play Green Fain Ward in here, I can sort of dissuade them from attacking with it. I think that's fine. And then if they want to attack with the dragon and challenge my barrier unit... Okay. Yeah. I think, I think this is altogether fine. Let's, let's kill our Shark Chariot here. Remembrance. All right, we end the round. I'm gonna try under some. Yeah, it's gonna be only scouts. So let's attack with this. See what this prompts them to do. I'll stop you. All right, yeah, that's fine. So we get trade with their protector here. I play a Shen. 
annoying. Shin is really annoying. The fact that all of these things have five power is actually really annoying. That's hard for us to bust through. I can use this combination of spells to just challenge and occupy all of their units. And then that hits for challenge, challenge, or challenge, challenge, two, four, ten. And then they die to cask. So if they don't have another unit here, this is actually lethal. Oh well. Had a unit. I still think I want to go through with this line, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so that makes my attack, like, incredibly bad now. Because now they get in a giant chunk of life. Uh, so I guess I'm just meant to end the round here. Lifesteal there was really rough for us. And now we just say infinite fucking damage. We probably lose this one. I can remember and try to get a decent sized unit before I attack next turn. Is that worth it? So what am I doing next turn? I'm probably open with a scout attack. Challenge this thing. And then I play my spirit? Something like that? I don't think I need to remember it. Oh wow, I, I almost died. <laughs> Maybe I do actually remember it. Like, what, what if I'm if I don't use any of my twelve mana? That's just such a horrible tempo loss. And they've already attacked, so it's not like they can really challenge this. Oh wow! Actually, picking up another unit that naturally has challenger is actually sort of huge for us there. Let's start with our scout. <clears throat> Wow, and that just absolutely fucks me over, because now it's so hard for any of my units to kill any of theirs, because everything's got... Oh, wow, that... Having two of these is great for them here. I do, I do have the Mark of the Isles that I can use to help with that. <laughs> um... Mark of the Isles. Okay, Mark of the Isles actually saves my thing here. Oh no, it gives them Furial. It doesn't save it, it just kills their dragon. Alright, well, it's still better than my thing just dying. Ooh. That's really useful. Hi, Mina. I won't. Alright, so we'll play Onslaught, and then we've got the Bannerman, which sort of helps counteract the plus one, plus one they got earlier? So yeah. Chariot, and then Bannerman. Make some challenges. One banner, one destiny. Alright, so everything gets in. This definitely happens. Yeah, it just... It, I really... Would, they, they, they pumped all of the units just a little bit too much for me to really... Interact with here. Oh! I had lethal. Okay. Something that is very underrated when you're playing a card game is, you know, counting the damage that you're dealing to see if you actually win the game. 